Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Lord of the Rings LCG playthrough. And this time we are playing the new Dwarves of Turing starter deck. And we are playing against the Journey to Anduin scenario. Um, the Dwarves deck is a mix of leadership and lore uh, heroes and cards. So we'll see how that functions in a standalone mode or rather in a true solo mode. Um, I haven't played a lot of uh, with this deck, but the deck's main uh, idea is to <laughs> mine c for cards like dwarves do and try to find the correct cards to play at each moment. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, without further delay, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, and we are ready to start. So, uh, as with the other starter decks, uh, this also comes with this booklet, which uh, tells you the main idea how to play the deck. Uh, I won't go into detail on this booklet that much, but it basically tells you uh, what is the idea behind the pre-built deck. The uh, box also, or the pack also comes with uh, additional cards that you can start deck building your deck to better suit the scenario you are playing, but I am playing it straight out of the box, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll do the setup now, so um, we will draw a card from the top of the encounter deck, and it is the brown lands. And uh, we also will basically uh, get the Hill troll into play when we click this. So I've already added it to the staging area. I'll just shuffle this deck because we would shuffle after getting the hill troll. Uh, the point of the first phase of the quest is to defeat the hill troll so we can advance this quest. We need eight uh, progress tokens on the quest to advance it, but we can't advance it before we have defeated the hill troll. So we need to tackle that hurdle first. Uh, let's draw our opening hand of six cards and see what we get. Uh, so we get Gloin, uh, Ered Luin Minor, Erebor Hammersmith Dory, Longbeard Elder and Gloin. So all allies. So I think we want something else than only allies. So I will Mulligan. Those allies are important because uh, some of these uh, heroes, well, um, Ori really wants to have five dwarf characters in play, so you will be drawing two uh, cards per repress phase each round after that. But I think we want some events or uh, attachments also. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe a couple of allies is good. Well, we get Ered Luin Miner, Erebor Record Keeper, and another Miner. Then we get the King Under the Mountain, which is nice to get. Uh, we get uh, Legacy of Turing and uh, Hidden Cash. So we'll go with this. So let's see. So. We can also, uh, this is this has a response, if we discard this, we'll get two resources um, to a hero, but we can also spend one resource to draw a card with this, so we'll see. Okay, so that is our starting hand. We probably go with this, so I'll start by drawing a card. Uh, we all we are not idle, then we gain resources. Let's see. Um, I think we want to start playing allies as fast as possible. So I will um, use the uh, one resource from Ori at the planning phase to play Legacy of Turing. Attached to a dwarf hero, I'll attach it to. Uh, Dane Ironfoot, 
So Dana Arendt uh, is a leadership ally, but we can play that on him. Uh, while Dane Ironfoot is ready, dwarf characters get plus one uh, combat power and plus one willpower. Then uh, we will play the Erebor Record Keeper. Erebor Record Keeper cannot attack or defend action. Exhaust Erebor Record Keeper and pay one resource. Uh, it is a low resource, yeah. Uh, to choose and ready a dwarf character. So this is a questing character, but we'll play that. Then uh, I think we're happy with this. Let's see what this does. Um, so action exhaust X dwarf characters to add X resources to heroes resource pool and draw one card. And uh, mm, this is a uh, ally, but it is a uh, neutral ally, so anyone can play this. I think we. Well, we have six here, so we are not succeeding in questing at all. Or we actually can. I think I won't do anything else at the planning phase. We'll go to uh, the. Uh, we'll go to the quest phase. So I will. Oh yeah. After you play a dwarf character from your hand, exhaust legacy during and draw a card. I'll do that before we do it because we played a dwarf character. We'll get horse map. Okay. Then uh, we will quest. I'll leave uh, Dane up. So this is two, five, and eight questing. We are against six, so we'll draw an encounter card. This uh, Chieftain Uftak, <laughs> of course, a big baddie first. So, uh, Chief Uftak gets plus two fight power for each resource token token on him. After Chief Uftak attacks, place one resource token on him. Well, uh, we don't have to deal with him yet, but uh, he adds two, so we're eight against eight, so we don't uh, progress the quest at all. But then we can travel here. So host after the players travel to throne lands, place one broker's token on it. So it immediately is resolved. Uh, then uh, we are done with this turn. We don't want to engage anything this round. So we just ready up. We add one to the dial. And that is that round. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We draw a card, we get another Ered with Miner, so we have a bunch of Miners here, three to be exact. Now we get resources. Okay, let's see what we can do now. I will play King Under the Mountain, so attach to a draw hero, exhaust King Under the Mountain, Look at the top two cards of your deck, add one to your hand and discard the other. So I'll add it here. Yeah, this should be also ready. And we will exhaust this to look at the top two cards. We get the Longbeard Elder and also a Lure of Moria. I think the Lure is more important. We have a fun abundance of allies already. We discard the ally. Then um, we could play Thor's map. That's a hero server action. Discard Thor's map to choose a location in staging area. Well, I'll just put that into play. Let's just uh, stack everything on this hero. And we'll go questing. So we'll quest with these three. Uh, we'll draw an encounter card. It is uh, despair. When revealed, remove four progress tokens from the quest card. If there are more fewer than all progress tokens, there are zero, so this doesn't do anything. But then 
we will get uh, two, uh, I mean three, six, seven, eight against three, so we put five progress tokens over here. But remember we can't advance this before this hill throw is defeated. We won't do anything else this round, we just uh, ready up. We draw a card, we get a very good tail. So action, exhaust two allies you control to shuffle your deck and discard the top five cards. Put up to two allies discarded by this effect in play under your control. The total cost of the allies put into play cannot exceed the total cost of the allies exhausted to pay for this effect. Okay. Mm. Let's see. Uh, why did I draw a card? Okay, I think I went to... Uh, yeah, this should be drawn at the start of the refresh phase. Okay, so that was that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so I messed up the last end of the last round, so we drew a card at the start, but we also forgot to add the threat, so we add that, that now. So we also get resources. One, two, three... Uh, Let's see. Uh, mm -hmm. What do we want to do? We can't really play anything meaningful. Um. I will exhaust three Dwarven characters and act as an action and add X resources. So I'll add one, two, three here. Then I think we could we'll play. Uh, Red Luin Minor. Yeah. So now we have five char uh, dwarf characters, then we will also exhaust Legacy of Turin to draw a card. Another we are not idle. Well, hmm. okay. And uh, that is the planning phase, we'll go to quest phase. Uh, nothing really. Uh, we are just, oh yeah, we'll just quest with one. So we are uh, one against three. And we get the Gladden Fields into play. But Gladden Fields is the active Location each player must raise their threat by an additional point during the press phase. Well, that is sucks. Well, we are one against six, so five added here. One, two, three, four, five. Thirty-three. Nothing. Well, we could have uh, actually requested this because I forgot it was in play. Well, we'll just reduce the threat by one. Okay, uh, nothing else is happening. We'll travel here, so now we have to add two at the end, but yeah, we'll ready up and add one threat here. So that was that round. Let's go to the next round. We draw two cards because we have five dwarf characters, so we get Eret Nimra's Protector, Miner of the Iron Hills. And we gain resources. Then I will do an action to pay one from here and add one here. Then both of these will play. Uh, just get the resources. Like so, and we'll play two more miners. 
So now we can start doing stuff. Then uh, we should start questing. So there is three there. Uh, let's think. So I think we'll just quest with this. So it is two against three. And uh, just quest with this. So six against three. Uh, five against three. So we'll go with that. And uh, nothing. So when reveal its location in the staging area, get to it. Okay. So nothing happens. Okay, uh, so we are five against three. So we add two here. Then uh, we will fight. Uh, which should we fight? We'll fight this guy. Oh yeah, this should uh, will engage us this round. So we'll have to fight that. We'll leave the other one aside for now. I will defend with Erebol with Miner. Then we'll get a Shadow card. Uh, defending player chooses and returns one exhaust ally. They control to its owner's hand if they control. Okay, for Pete's sake, we'll have to return this. And now we can't kill the troll, so it kills this. It's for six, so we defend for one, so five, so that takes two, so we have three here, so thirty-six. Our next turn that also will engage us, but we'll hit back, so this will hit for three, for five, so we deal two damage. It's a tough enemy, but it is what it is, so yeah. That is that uh, combat done. We ready up. We draw. No, we add a threat. So 37. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We draw a card. It is a hidden cash again. You really would want the resources rather than get that card in your hand. But it is what it is. I. I Apparently can't mine when I need to. Well, uh, yeah, we played a... Yeah, I forgot to use the Legacy of Durin last turn. But yeah, this turn... Hmm. Okay, I think I know what to do. We will exhaust everything. We are not idle. We'll add five here. Then I will play Lure of Moria. Ready all of twelve characters. I will actually use then this. To look at the top two cards, discard one, Kofur or Dory. Mm. We don't have either in hand yet. I'll take Dory. Then I will play Dory. We need combat now. Oh, I damn, I can't because uh, he's not a neutral ally, so we'll play this instead. We'll draw a card with this. And uh, that is. Well, uh, we'll spend one here, pay two here, uh, get one here, pay two. The Ready Nimas Protector. After a Ready Nimas Protector and display discard the top three cards of your deck, then choose and shuffle one card from the discard pile back into your deck. One, two, three. We discard this. So then we can choose 
one card from my discard. We'll put Gandalf into our deck. Okay, well, uh, I think now we have enough dwarves to defeat the troll. Yeah, this is in my discard also. So, uh, we also need to deal with that enemy, but let's see how this goes. So, questing. Mm. Uh, this has the quest. This has the quest. They are really bad at fighting. Okay, and then uh, we are questing 4 vs 2, and oh yeah, I had to have 2 because of this, so <laughs> we get another troll, so this sucks, so 3 vs 4, we advance this, then this will engage me. I think this will go downhill from here fast. Okay, we will defend against the trolls. We will defend against this guy. So we get shadow cards. I think this is a short game now. Well, uh, first off, attacking enemy gets plus one. Uh, plus two because the threat is too high. So this hits this uh, four, six, seven, eight, so seven. We add six. Uh, we add five. One, two, three, four, five. Forty-three. Then this attacking enemy gets plus two instead if the threat is higher. So again, same result. This is defeated. And we add 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 48. Then uh, this hits for. This gets a resource token. This hits for. After, yeah. So not yet. So hits for 3. Defend for 2. No shadow effect. So we'll take 1 damage. And now it gets a resource token. Then uh, we, we have one wolf to hit back, back with. So yeah, these two will attack this guy. So we will hit for uh, one, two, three, four against three. So we deal one. That is it. And uh, we ready up. Uh, well, yeah, we're ready up and we add one, so we are at we are at 49 threats, so one threat away from threatening out, so we will lose the next round. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We draw a card, Gandalf, no help there, we can uh, resources. Uh, well, well, let's see. We'll shift this resource here. Play this. Uh, draw a card. Hit this. Then we'll draw two cards. This card one. A oh, very good tail. Well, yeah. Hmm. I'll discard uh, Exos to allies I control. Uh, so top five cards. Put up to two allies discarded by this effect into play under your control. The total cost of these allies in play can exceed the total cost. Well, luckily we got these two. So, put those into play. doesn't help us that much, but, oh yeah, we would have drawn one more card, but let's forget about that. Actually, we would have drawn this, 
then we would have discarded one more healing herbs. Okay, uh, questing. We can't afford to quest with anything. We just have to attack or fight with everything. Mm, well, we have to. Actually, this guy has to quest because it can't attack. And we tread out. Yeah, we could have avoided that part. It is what it is. So we are at 51 threat and we lost the game here. So, uh, unfortunately, we got overrun with two big enemy. Uh, two big of enemies, so two trolls and this big orc chieftain, so if the game would have went a bit differently, maybe we would have been in a good position to continue, because we have a lot of dwarves in play. Uh, yeah, unfortunately we got really unlucky with the encounter deck this game. But I feel like these dwarves have a good chance of uh, playing these scenarios straight out of the box. You just have to figure out how to play them. You have to discard a lot of cards. Some effects bring cards back from the discard while you're mining, etc. And uh, yeah. But still, we lost um, embarrassingly at the 1B step of the quest, which is not really cool. We were really unlucky. Two hill trolls and this big uh, orc chieftain, uh, and we are not a fighter deck in any way. So that's unfortunate, but hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.